So here we are inside the jetty. As you can see, it's rather mirrored and shiny, and lots of gold. He's the hermit character I've mentioned before. You often see it at the cave complexes because caves are synonymous with hermits. Quite in. Some different styles there. And the famous Thai masks. the trolls and the other deities. <laughs> Hope you're loving the smooth smooth camera work today. I'm probably fine that it's not recorded and I've wasted my time again. be a little bit smoother with the, the joystick. Now this pointing statue here, I think this is actually Tumru and you rest your forehead on the outstretched finger um, and you make you make a wish, as far as I understand. But let's go and see what's upstairs. Oh, smooth. Oh, this would be nothing. A work in progress. So what have we got here? We've got more, more of the Thai masks over here. Let's bring it down a bit. More of the Thai masks. And then various respected monks. I believe this is a copy of the famous Emerald Buddha which is held in the Royal Temple um, in Bangkok and I believe the original one in the Royal Temple you cannot take photographs of so some more monks Some more masks. And that is it. Oh, some water damage though. Looks like they've got a leaking problem. I mean this silver mosaic and mirrored ceiling and walls would not be out of place in a a 1970s disco club in New York, but um, I think it's meant to reflect or symbolize light. That's why the gold leaf is often left. It's a very pure color, silver gold. Oh, we've got an upstairs, and it's probably going to be wet. So I'm going to have to watch me put in as you can see there we're up top now it's a nice breeze I 
I've got to admit, Samaprakan is not my favourite part of the world. Um, I used to come here, not here, but to the province. When I first came to Thailand, it's, it's changed now because the BTS has extended out, but it used to be really awkward to get to. inside. Ah, what have we got here? Some more seated. Oh, uh, verboten, verboten. Yeah, San Prakan, it's to the east of Bangkok. Um, oh look, a Chinese. Chinese style pagoda there. I'll have to pan down, sorry, I'm panning up. Chinese style pagoda. There we go. Um, yeah, back to my useless tip bit of information for you. Um, it's to the it's to the east of Bangkok and it's very close to um, very close to the sea or the estuary as the Jiao Praya feeds into the Gulf of Thailand and um, another seated Buddha in there but that's got a big puddle outside so I'm not going to get me socks wet me Norwegian socks um, so I keep losing my train of thought Yes, it very much reminds me of uh, Tilbury, Grey, something like that. Um, and without offending anyone from those regions that might be listening, but I doubt it. Uh, whenever I used to go there, it was a shithole. Excuse my French. Uh, all around that area, that estuary, uh, you know, industrial run down. Um, yeah, not great place. And that's pretty much what St. Prakam reminds me of. It's um, very industrial. Um, there's lots of haulage companies, you know, shipping companies, uh, factories, everything to do with the, with the fishing industry. Uh, so the shellfish packing, things like, oh, this one is open. behind and again everything decked out in the crystallized look look inside here it's Buddha's footprints you can just about see there I think this is the door I came in at. So yeah, if you've got an aversion to Tilbury or Grays, um, avoid some of can would be my advice. Right. Well, I think it's just out now, so I'm going to switch off. 
Bye.